Welcome to our YouTube channel SMK TV. Subscribe and click the bell icon for new updates. Now let's start. Mental models. How to train your brain to think in new ways. Mental models. What is a mental model? The secret to great thinking. Mental models. You can train your brain to think better. One of the best ways to do this is to expand the set of mental models you use to think. Let me explain what I mean by sharing a story about a world-class thinker. I first discovered what a mental model was and how useful the right one could be while I was reading a story about Richard Feynman, the famous physicist. Feynman received his undergraduate degree from MIT and his PhD from Princeton. During that time, he developed a reputation for waltzing into the math department and solving problems that the brilliant PhD students couldn't solve. When people asked how he did it, Feynman claimed that his secret weapon was not his intelligence, but rather a strategy he learned in high school. According to Feynman, his high school physics teacher asked him to stay after class one day and gave him a challenge. Feynman, the teacher said, you talk too much and you make too much noise. I know why, you're bored, so I'm going to give you a book. You go up there in the back, in the corner, and study this book, and when you know everything that's in this book, you can talk again. So each day, Feynman would hide in the back of the classroom and study the book Advanced Calculus by Woods, while the rest of the class continued with their regular lessons. And it was while studying this old calculus textbook that Feynman began to develop his own set of mental models. That book showed how to differentiate parameters under the integral sign, Feynman wrote. It turns out that's not taught very much in the universities, they don't emphasize it. But I caught on how to use that method, and I used that one damn tool again and again. So because I was self-taught using that book, one had peculiar methods of doing integrals. The result was, when the guys at MIT or Princeton had trouble doing a certain integral, it was because they couldn't do it with the standard methods they had learned in school. If it was a contour integration, they would have found it. If it was a simple series expansion, they would have found it. Then I come along and try differentiating under the integral sign, and often it worked. So I got a great reputation for doing integrals, only because my box of tools was different from everybody else's. And they had tried all their tools on it before giving the problem to me. Every PhD student at Princeton and MIT is brilliant. What separated Feynman from his peers wasn't necessarily raw intelligence. It was the way he saw the problem. He had a broader set of mental models. What is a mental model? A mental model is an explanation of how something works. It is a concept framework. or worldview that you carry around in your mind to help you interpret the world and understand the relationship between things. Mental models are deeply held beliefs about how the world works. For example, supply and demand is a mental model that helps you understand how the economy works. Game theory is a mental model that helps you understand how relationships and trust work.
entropy is a mental model that helps you understand how disorder and decay work. Mental models guide your perception and behavior. They are the thinking tools that you use to understand life, make decisions, and solve problems. Learning a new mental model gives you a new way to see the world, like Richard Feynman learning a new math technique. Mental models are imperfect, but useful. There is no single mental model from physics or engineering, for example. That provides a flawless explanation of the entire universe. But the best mental models from those disciplines have allowed us to build bridges and roads, develop new technologies. And even travel to outer space. As historian Yuval Noah Harari puts it, Scientists generally agree that no theory is 100% correct. Thus, the real test of knowledge is not truth, but utility. The best mental models are the ideas with the most utility. They are broadly useful in daily life. Understanding these concepts will help you make wiser choices and take better actions. This is why developing a broad base of mental models is critical for anyone interested in thinking clearly, rationally, and effectively. The Secret to Great Thinking Expanding your set of mental models is something experts need to work on just as much as novices. We all have our favorite mental models, the ones we naturally default to, as an explanation for how or why something happened. As you grow older and develop expertise in a certain area, you tend to favor the mental models that are most familiar to you. Here's the
the problem when a certain worldview dominates your thinking. try to explain every problem you face through that worldview. This pitfall is particularly easy to slip into when you're smart or talented in a given area. Or you master a single mental model. The more likely it becomes that this mental model will be your downfall because you'll start applying it indiscriminately to every problem. What looks like expertise is often a limitation. As the common proverb says, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, SMKTV.